G'day! Today I'm opening this Lenovo all-in-one machine up and I want to change the NVMe drive. So let's do that. To begin with, we've everything disconnected. We have this screw here. We have to use the Phillips head. I'm not feeling one on the other side, so I'm going to ignore the other side. It should pop your screen just like that. Slide and twist. Uh, there we go. Should get a little bit of plastic there. It looks like we got one, two, three, four screws. If you can lay it down flat, I would definitely recommend doing that first. Start holding this. There we go, and I can feel that screen just release. So if I move this out of the way. Move the stand down, lay this down. And then from there, I'm going to use something like this, which should hopefully get me a little bit further into the machine. I don't believe we need to take out the mount in the back here. I believe that can just stay. I'll keep going on the front here. There we go. Go. Proceed with the screen. Bingo. I have a cable for the webcam. I'm just going to grab and pull back. And a cable for the. Not sure. Speaker microphone. Oh. Move that away. Put that down. And take a look here. I'm just going to point out the screws and then, then undo them and show you again. One, two, three, four, five, six, possibly seven, eight, nine. I'll get those out. 
Let's see what we get. speaker over here that simply wobbles out just run the very top in there we go strangely it's got a one terabyte drive in it and I feel like I'm very blind there we go, one hard drive right down the bottom here, which I'm gonna pretty much gonna ignore because I want to install an NVMe drive over here. Over here we have some DDR4 3200 megahertz sodium. So that can be easily removed by pulling to the side. Lifts up. Do take note of the notch. One down here. It goes in on a slight angle, pushes down. Like so. Next up, I want to get an NVMe drive into here. So I'm going to put a WD Blue SN570 in there. Let's take the Phillips head screw up here. The screw that driver that used just before was probably going to be too big, so we need a smaller one. The screw here should be able to come out. And that should be able to go in. Push down and screw in like so then from here it's a matter of reassembly I will be doing a using a Cronus True image to clone the OS over from the failing 500 gig drive in here which is making this computer that ridiculously slow that it's almost unusable especially with the performance that it's got it should be going a hell of a lot better than what it currently is. Connect up the front speakers. Right the screws now. Did actually expect the screen to come out as its own part. It turned out it was actually connected to the back. Oh, well, still fully connected. But the bracket stand was attached directly to here. Which is somewhat unique. Or at least, eh, probably not as unique as I say it is. Actually, there's a few others I've seen it on. I've seen others where the screen just lifts out and you can get it everything. You don't even need to take the stand off. This is not one of those. So we have connected. I'm going to connect these two over here. When I reconnect the screen, so this should fold over, flip over. Screwed the cover in on one of those cables. Oh, now I have a loose cable down here. I can't quite tell what it is from. to here as there are two different size connections.
go. And I should be able to reconnect this one up as well. Yep, that's pushed in. Flip it over. Try and make sure it goes in the same kind of location. There we go. Push down. Just going to squeeze it. As well. There we go. Next up, put your stand back on. And from here, you should be mostly able to do this one yourself. So I hope that helps opening up your Lenovo 24-inch all-in-one. And this, I know this machine's going to run considerably quicker running off the NVMe compared to running off the older 2.5-inch 1 terabyte drive. It's kind of a travesty it came from the factory like that. It should be long since dead, and large numbers shouldn't matter too much these days. Put this one back on. There we go. Hope that helps and see you later. Bye.